Hey Gemini gang, happy Saturday you guys. All Gemini placements, that ain't off the rip. All Gemini placements, take what resonates, leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you in your situation, okay? Personal readings in the description box on the website. Hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes. Gemini's, you are greatly appreciated. Really? Child. What is going on? Well, the, um, ooh, yikes, Gemini. I don't know if I like this energy. So we have healing family issues. So that's, that was the first card out. That popped out right away. So there could be some family stuff going on, or it could simply be that someone wants to heal something with you. Of course, we're seeing the reconciliation card, deception, and codependency, which we saw this yesterday. Um, actually saw codependency and reconciliation yesterday. So let's see what's going on here, um, Gemini's. So eight of pentacles, yes. Someone doesn't want to work on something, Gemini's. Or someone could be dealing with some family stuff. I've kind of got that in the last few readings for you as well, um, Gemini's. Ooh, the five of cups. Yikes. Um, somebody's losing hope. Now, this could be seen two ways. Uh, we'll, we'll dive deeper when we pull the clarifier for this. But, I mean, it could be someone kind of losing hope, Gemini's. It could be you. Um, could be them. But sometimes this, this um, card can be about something can be fixed. Because there's those two cups behind him. Even though he's facing, looking sad at those three cups spilled before him, there is two cups still standing behind him. So I feel like there, there may be one person here in the front that has lost hope, and then there's one person here in the back that is uh, still hopeful that this can work. Gemini's. Pentacles, the page of wands, mm -hmm. and then I'm seeing the hierophant as well. So I feel like Gemini's, um, yes, I, I see this is kind of the same vibe I got for you yesterday with someone, um, someone may need help, Gemini's, but when, when I see the page of pentacles under the deception card, I get um it's it's a financial thing uh gemini's so whatever this is that this person isn't telling you or could be hiding or whatever the case may be gemini's i feel like it could be um they're not telling you the whole truth about uh their their stability of some sort we'll see when we start pulling clarifiers but that's the vibe i got from that the page of wands under codependency, like I said, I feel like you're going to hear from this person. Like you're going to get a DM, uh, a text or whatever, because this person really just can't stay away from you, Gemini's. This person may be legit addicted to you. Now, when I see the Hierophant with a page, I get um, like a student teacher type of thing, which I've gotten for you guys before. Like, like you inspire this person in some way, or this person depends on you in some way, Gemini's. Tell you how it resonates. It's going to be different for all of you, whether it's for their emotional needs, their financial needs. This person depends on you in some way, Gemini's. So, like I said in yesterday's reading, they depend on you more than you realize to the point where your absence is very noticeable to this person, um, especially as time goes on. Wow, what the hell is going on here? So we have the Eight of Swords, yes, <laughs> and the Sun. So, okay, thank you, Spirit. We have the Moon here on the bottom. Oh, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine with the Sun and the Moon. Yeah, so Gemini's, I feel like um, someone may feel trapped. See, I'm getting this again. Someone may feel trapped in their family dynamic. 
of some sort. Like they're doing something that their family wants them to do. They're having to financially support people around them. Um, something along the lines of that, Gemini. It's like this, this person is caught up in something and they don't see a way out. This person may also be um, may also be codependent on their family, which is why it makes it hard for them to break free from them. Um, Gemini's now with the sun here under the five of cups. I get somebody is hopeful. Somebody's really hopeful that this can work, that they that you guys can come back together and y'all can work this out. Okay, could be them, but I'm glad I'm seeing the sun here because then it, it kind of gives it a, a different spin. Um, Gemini's. I feel like this person is hopeful that this can work out. I feel like there's they're optimistic that this can work out. Um, Gemini's or they can make it up to you for however long it takes. again what the hell is going on here <laughs> so you're definitely going to hear from this person quick fast and in a hurry um gemini's i feel like this person's just been kind of hanging around for some of you this person's been waiting on you to reach out you know they may not say that they may not say you know um Gemini, I've been waiting around. I've been wanting to hear from you. Six of Pentacles on the bottom. Yeah, I feel like this person's been kind of waiting on you. And then for some of you, you haven't you haven't reached out to them. And so, um, since you haven't, they're gonna reach out to you. But like I said, I'm seeing a lot of pages here. So it's like the conversation may be light. You know, just just to kind of test the waters out a little bit. Um, yeah. Okay. Try this again. I saw the emperor. So some of you, five of oh, there is a family problem. Five of wands comes out, and the five of swords is on the bottom. Ooh. You might be seeing five, five, five. So I'm seeing three fives. Yeah. So Gemini's. Yeah, this person is at odds with their family. It makes me wonder too if this person's at odds with their family over you, or over y'all's connection, or you're at odds with the people around you, Gemini's, over this person. Take it how it resonates here. But I'm seeing this person maybe going through some conflict. But like I said, this could also be um how they're seeing the conflict with you so take that how it resonates but the this card mentions parents you know forgiving your parents so i did see the emperor earlier so it could be that um you know there there's a, a issue with a father figure um or a parental figure of some sort that may not approve of something that they're doing or something along the lines of that. But I feel like it's causing problems. Something in their family dynamic is causing problems. Um, Gemini's. goodness the hierophant on the bottom yeah so Gemini so let me say this this person's wanting a whole new start and if you did end things with the, with this person Gemini they don't want things to be over with you nope they don't want things to be over the death card can be about a transformation of some sort so like I picked up in yesterday's reading I feel like something happened with this person that made them see things totally different. 
especially when it comes to you in this connection um Gemini's especially with the sun because the sun can definitely be about some type of clarity as well um I do like the death and the sun card together so I feel like there's a huge transformation here and I feel like it could be this person is starting to see who and what makes them happy in their life because when you ended up leaving or y'all separated or y'all ended or whatever they were stuck to see who they are around every day whether it be their family their friends I hate to say this I gotta say it though it could be even their own children <laughs> that this person feels drained by feels used by um Gemini's and I feel like you were probably like the only beacon of light that this person had you were like the only positive thing this person had Gemini's and now for a lot of you they don't have it I feel like you were this white bridge here in this photo because that's that's like the ray of hope that's like the light at the end of the tunnel y'all see in this card where there's this uh there's this white bridge back there y'all see that that represents um some positivity in, in a gloomy card that represents the, the, the positivity and i find it interesting that it's right above those two of cups so gemini's and plus it being clarified by the sun i love it it's like you were like the only bright thing bright thing or uh positivity in their life and now it's not there now they don't have it now they don't have you gemini's i feel like a lot of things about this person is changing five of swords showing up again a lot of things about this person's belief systems are changing as well uh gemini's because this person may have looked at things a certain way again they could have even had this toxic view of relationships because of their family, uh, Gemini's. Now, the healing family issues could also be something internal, healing some type of family trauma, some type of childhood wounds, especially with these all these pages over here, um, Gemini's. Yep, Nine of Cups. Y'all, the Page of Pentacles again. <laughs> yeah. I love it. So I feel like with this energy, Gemini's, um, now every time I see the Nine of Cups under the deception, I get that someone is acting like they're happy when they're not. Yeah. And I feel like that's that's what's motivating this person to come back. To reach out to talk to you this person has to talk to you um gemini's they have to because i don't i don't feel like anything in their life is really going all that great i feel like shit's just kind of falling apart like i got in yesterday's reading and like i said i feel like you were just you were like this the sunshine to this person um gemini and now i feel like now it's just darkness for them child <laughs> the eight of cups what i tell you child i can't make it up i can't make it up so i feel like with this energy gemini's you probably did walk away from this person now i'll say this because the eight of cups can be about removing yourself from a situation um or releasing something or someone uh, but the Eight of Cups can also be about letting bygones be bygones, like leaving the past in the past. And I feel like this is what this person wants. They want to leave the past in the past, uh, Gemini's. Yeah, I'm seeing the Ace of Wands here on the bottom. They want to have a new start, um, Gemini's. But also the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is a very spiritual card, which a lot of people don't realize that. And especially over these pages in the, in the under the codependency, I feel like this person may be like noticing some type of childhood wounds, like I said earlier, about themselves. This person is noticing some things about themselves. And I feel like 
For a lot of you, they don't like what they see. I feel like this person may feel like they don't deserve happiness. Um, anything that good that comes into their life, they sabotage. Spirits. Well, this is way more than one, but okay. So we have the Seven of Wands. I wanted to pull another one because we have two Page of Wands. Page of Wands, and I wanted another card for the Page of Wands. So we have the Star card. So this pretty much sums up what I've been saying. Let, wanting to let go of the past. Now, the Star card can be about the future. So I feel like this person just wants to forget about the past and start over with you, Geminis. I'm also seeing the Three of Wands. The Knight of Cups and the Hangman. I told you they're seeing something differently now. I feel like they're they're really getting a glimpse of, of themselves. Um, Gemini's they're really looking at themselves and their choices. Um, for some of you, they may have pushed you away. But I feel like Gemini's, you were literally like the only good thing that they had. And now they don't have it for a lot of you. Or, or they're about to lose it. Forever. Forever, ever? All right, let's see what's going on. what I tell you? What the fuck did I tell you? Your love heals me. I promise you, Geminis. You are the only thing positive in this person's life. Literally. And they fucked it up. On my love by Tank. I told y'all it guys several times. I, I probably listen to this song every day. I absolutely love this song. That's why I added it to the deck. I love that song. So y'all go check it out. Wait by Nail. I told you. Hold up, Geminis. Don't go just yet. <laughs> All right, let me get a couple more. I'm not going to get too many. I'm all alone. I'm telling you. But this person burns bridges, though. Please forgive me. Child. They did it to themselves. I told you. I'm about to call slash text you. I told you, Geminis. I know you're the one for me. Mm-hmm. Despite the naysayer. Oh, wow. Well, then. Y'all are twin flames? Mm-hmm. I don't know how to fix this. Please tell me how. I haven't seen this one in a while for you guys. I haven't seen that one in a while. I dream about you. Yeah, I got that vibe yesterday as well. Let me get a couple more and then we're going to wrap this up. Secret crush for whoever whoever that's for. I want to be vulnerable, but I don't know how. See, I, I know that. That's for sure. Um, I do feel like they are willing to learn, Gemini's, but I feel like whatever happened between you two, they definitely learned a valuable lesson with this so beautiful by music soul child all right gemini's hit those likes hit those subscribes thank you for watching peace out